Hi everyone, this is Mike from The Great Outdoors doing a quick video, five minutes maybe, five minutes, on how I did my bed in my camper van. I did a complete video then the reveal of the van, but I did not do uh, a build video on it. I started to, it just became too complicated because as I was building it, I was running into other problems and it was, for me, it was just too difficult to, to concentrate on the build and to try to do video and everything else so I went ahead and did the video I figured I'd go over the components in the in the van uh, if people wanted to know more information or as I felt you know it might be benefit somebody uh, but the bed is a in an IKEA bed uh, it is the uh, three rails it's got wooden slats on it and it's got two inch foam cushions uh, I am still working on the van so the beds not totally complete but uh, this will give you an idea of uh, what I did. Now, the first thing that I had to do was really decide how I was going to put the bed in the van. And I was going between uh, the slide out beds with the slats that you have where you slide them out. And I was thinking, you know, that's, that's really a neat idea. Um, but room wise, it just it just seemed complicated for what I wanted to do and I wanted a more fixed bed that you know when you were ready to lay down you could just lay down so let me show you the bed all right this is my bed this is what I came up with it's got some cushions in the back it's got pillows on one end I've only slept in it twice uh, but it seems to be pretty comfortable two inch foam mattress it's got, uh, it goes from one side to the other for sure. Um, I still have my reflectics up in the windows. I keep it up all the time, just keeps the van cooler. So, the, the biggest problem with, with the bed was trying to figure out how to put it in. Uh, I'm gonna show you one of the struggles I had, which I have a HVAC unit in the back right hand corner over here. And it, uh, it, really presented a lot of problems for height the height I've got it I wanted it below the windows and that unit really gave me a hard time so I have to show you what I did there before I get into actually showing you the way the beds constructed this is what I really strongly re recommend is you know drawing out a plan on how you're gonna have the uh, van set up you know I had measurements how big I wanted stuff I tried to have an idea of what it was going to feel like so once I did the measurements here I went inside the van and I used tape and I taped it off and I would sit in it and I would look and really uh, concentrate on you know if this plan would work and uh, that's why this kind of bed here a fixed bed really worked best for me all right now I'm going to take apart the bed I'm going to take the mattress off I'm going to take you know of course all the covers I'm going to take the wooden slats off so I can show you the rails how I mounted them uh, and how I made the decision on where I put the brackets all right from the inside with the covers off the mattress is off this is what the bed looks like you got the wooden slats from Ikea and you can see the uh, three bed rails one thing I did do was I got velcro on the slats, a little piece under the slats, and a little piece, uh, uh, and a piece running up the rail. That's just so the rails don't vibrate, make noise. I did not put any on this first rail because the way I made this bed was I can remove that first rail and that first row of slats and only have a single bed in here. Right now it's a double. So if I wanted to make a little bit more room in the van, if it was just me, I needed that room I could take that out and that's why I didn't put the velcro on that because that bar will actually slide in and then I can store it up underneath the bed let's go outside and take a look so this is what it looks like from the outside you can see I've got quite a bit of space up underneath for storage I'm gonna take off the slats here now okay without the wood slats this is what we got I mentioned that I could take this first rail out. I can take all three out really easy and store them up underneath or alongside the bed. If I take them out, I don't have a bed in here, so I can't store them underneath. But there's the slats taken out. They don't take much room. I could take these three rails out if I wanted to um, carry something large back here. 
would probably take me 10 minutes maybe to take the entire bed out. Um, I'm going to show you the bracket real quick uh, that is holding these in because they were a hard, hard, hard item to get. All right. The way you get these brackets, you don't get them with the rails. You have to go up to the customer service and request them. Uh, I think they're called spare stock or something like that. I had to go to Ikea three or four times uh, to get these. I ended up with some extras because they, uh, it, they would take a month to get. So they do sell these on eBay. Uh, you can get them at uh, Ikea for free, but they're a little bit on eBay. I've actually ended up with uh, a few extra of these because I kept asking for them. But you got to make sure you get these back because they do not come with a rail. You have to go to customer service in Ikea. All right, so this is how I mounted the bracket. They're just sheet metal screws going in here. They're pretty big. This screw right here, I actually put in to stop the possibility of this rail popping up in transit or if you're laying on it or anything else. I mean, if you're bouncing around. So I put one of those screws on each one of the top of the rails. And of course, there's my rail crow to hold the, uh, the wooden slats in place. And on the edge of the wooden slats, I have a small piece. So you can see how easy it would be to take these rails out. Down here so you can see this a little better. You know, you just unbolt that one screw in the top here, this one right here, and these pop out. So you could carry a, a big load in here. You could put the bed off the side or something. All right. One of the challenges I had on this was this HVAC unit. I know it doesn't look like much, but right here at the top, uh, there was a, there was a, uh, a vent that went up through into the top of the the roof here and out to these uh, these vents in the roof. And that's how the AC worked. But if I was to put the bed in that was in my way and I'd have to put the bed back about four or five inches if I would have done that I could have used the existing piping and, and used the HVAC unit in here uh, but what I did was I cut a hole in the bottom a little bit down below this this is now where the AC comes out and that's actually plugged I need to finish covering that up uh, up here on the top I gotta cover that up but it, the AC actually comes out this pipe and comes out right there up underneath the bed. So it was very important for me to keep this HVAC unit in here, but it was a challenge to get the bed in. So when you're putting these rails in, you have to take a, a measurement in here that's consistent uh, with the next positioning of your rail. And the problem I was having was these vans are not consistent. Um, they are narrower at the back, you know, the, the, they're just different all the way around. So the, the area I picked was above here, right here at the edge of the window at the top and measured down like I believe this was nine inches. Yeah, I actually still have it. It's nine inches down to the top of the HVAC unit. So that's kind of what I was using. I can't remember the exact number that I used there. But if you notice, this bracket here had to have to kind of contour to make it fit in there. And now I've got one up inside there. And that's it. I did mention that the fan, it narrows towards the back. So the neat thing about these rails, they, they're adjustable. They slide in and out. And the rear rail is a little bit different than the, than the front. All right, well, the bed's about a full size. It's 7 inches by 54 inches. Works great. If you need to remove the the, uh, the bed out of the van for anything quickly, you can do that. You can store all the components inside the van and still carry large items. Um, I want to show you one more thing from the back. I'm going to show you how much cargo space and what I actually had in the van, and then we'll wrap this up. So this is everything that I had stored under the bed. And this is how much space I have. You know, nothing obstructing uh, between the top and the bottom. So I got all that room right there. And the futon I got 
is right back there. That slides under. That's where I keep my canned goods and stuff like that. That's what it looks like loaded up. Still got lots of room under there. Yeah, it's everything. Thanks for watching. I hope you all learned something from this. If you got any questions, please leave a comment. Please give me a like. Uh, subscribe. I'm trying to build the channel. And we'll have more videos like this coming. Um, my next one's probably going to be over how I did my sink. So, again, thank you for watching. Be safe out there. Enjoy the great outdoors. Mm -hmm.